Today we're gonna slow the game down. Or speed it way the heck up. For those of you that don't know, the game of Minecraft runs at 20 ticks per second. And when we say that, we mean that it executes 20 times every second the operations that the game has to do. So in each tick will be uh, where the pig wants to move to, where the chicken wants to move to, where that egg is in the world, uh, what that bee is doing, what your redstone machine is doing, should I spawn mobs, etc., etc. If you want more info on what happens within those ticks, check out the Dissecting Minecraft series by Logical Geek Boy with Methods. We're not going to be covering that. We're just going to be talking about what you can do to alter the speed of the game in your creative worlds for testing purposes. First thing I'll bring up is the tick rate command. So normally the game runs at 20, but we can slow this way down. So let's change it to tick rate five. So five is 25% of 20, meaning we're going to run the game at 25% its normal speed. I'm also going to turn on carpet smooth client animations so that when I see it in game, it looks like it's moving at one frame, but it's actually going to be moving much slower. So we're at five ticks per second. I'm going to break this black and see how long and slow that falls. Normal game speed. Let's see, it takes that. But I can also increase the game speed. So tick rate 200. So if I break this now, it looks like it almost instantly goes because we're running that game so fast. So let's say you're working on something like an item pusher system and things are moving kind of fast. You're saying, wait a minute, why are the items not aligning up properly? Maybe it's my speed. This one would probably be an easy example to figure out, but we can use our tick rate and our smooth client animation to slow it way down. And we can see, okay, so when I drop an item, it lands there, it gets pushed. Oh, it's getting pushed while it's still in the air. That's why. Then I can adjust my timings. And be able to see better what the items are doing. So you can use the tick rate command to just increase your tick speed. In this case, I'm going to do the tick warp command, in which case the game is going to run as fast as it possibly can for the number of ticks that you give it. So there's 20 ticks per second, 6,000 if you want to run it for five minutes. But once you hit enter on that, it's going to enter warp speed. So we can see that's moving so fast that Hopper Minecart can't even keep up with the client animation. The nice thing is, is... Once it's done with that, it will stop the tick warp after those times that we gave it, and it will show us at what TPS we're running at and average MSPT. This means that if you want to do an extended test on your farm, uh, test it for an hour or 10 hours, then you just need to put in that number of ticks, and it will run significantly faster. Um, the lower lag you have in the world, the faster it's going to run. So if you're doing a farm like this Glowberry farm, where it's not dependent on mob spawning, then you can turn off the mob spawning rule and it's going to run faster. So everything you can do in the game to make it run as fast as it can, it will run as fast as it can in that tick warp. If you're running a tick warp and want to stop it, all you need to do is slash tick warp with no number in there. Just hit enter and it's going to stop the warp. Maybe you realize, oh no, something's broken and blah, 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 whatever. And the final thing I wanted to cover is the tick freeze command. So tick freeze will freeze the game while allowing the player to still move around. So we can see none of these animals are moving. None of these are doing it. If I turn this on, nothing's going to happen. The game is completely frozen, but I can still interact with the world. So let's say, I don't know, I want to get these observers out of here and I replace them with slime blocks. This makes no sense for the farm, but I don't want those foxes to fall down as soon as I break those observers. So I can freeze the game, replace those blocks, and then do tick freeze again to unfreeze it. And now we can see they're all still exactly where we left them. So that's going to be it. Again, check out the video in the description for the link to the carpet mod. You will need that in order to be able to do these commands. I'll catch you later. Have a good one. Bye.